Did you get them both? Steve Vomaka and his 10-year-old son Harley don't live together. Coming, shot at But they spend a lot of time together online playing video games. That's how him and I connect. Now more than ever, schools are closed and Vomaka lost his job due to the pandemic. Like after the layoff happened, it's now like I wake up in the morning, I uh, play some video games while I'm eating breakfast, do a quick workout, more video games, so <laughs> it's, <laughs> it happens a lot. Game companies are reporting record sales since the pandemic started. That's ten and a half billion dollars worldwide in April alone. As people have been forced indoors, um, usage has skyrocketed. This global gaming network is reporting a 20 to 40 percent surge in traffic on its websites and YouTube channels. Video games are the new social network. It's how you make friends. It's how you connect with your friends every night. Competitive gaming, also known as eSports, has been rapidly expanding in recent years. These in-person tournaments have come to a halt. But unlike traditional sports, eSports can stage online tournaments and still flourish. That's what Travis Letwinick is banking on. There's a lot of room for growth for eSports. The 24-year-old gamer is so good he won a scholarship two years ago to play varsity esports at a Pennsylvania university. But now he's trying to go pro. I dropped out of university to pursue it, so I kind of got to give it my best. Steve Vomaka's aspirations are more simple. He's taking classes to find a new job and, like many people, getting outside more but still plans to carve out enough playing time to relax and connect with his son. Yes, Harley! Good job! Bonnie Allen, CBC News, Regina.